Hello, good morning, and welcome to the vlog. My name is Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty, and as you can tell from my voice, I'm just waking up for the day. Just finished getting ready, and I'm about to start my work day. It's a pretty regular day here. It's a Monday, um, and there's something special that we're doing today that I woke up so excited about, and that is we're going to rearrange the office today. So if you don't know, Nitty Natty is my full-time job. My husband also helps me with the business. And so we both work from home every single day and it gets a little old <laughs> and we need to change things up. And so we're gonna be um, opening a new desk up for Kent and rearranging things. And that's all gonna come later on in the day. Right now, I am about to head downstairs to the coffee shop that's right below our building because I, I was gonna sit up here and knit for a little bit and start my day like that, but I am just too hungry to wait. So I'm gonna take my knitting downstairs with me. So I just wanted to show you the project that I'm working on before I get down into the coffee shop and I can't talk about it. Um, but this is my seaside dress and you might have seen it already by now it might be in a different stage but right now i am working on the um, bottom part of it and i know it looks really small but it's actually um, supposed to have some negative ease so i'm really excited about it this is a pattern by um, brianna lapino and i will have it linked down below but i'm using my moon glow fade which is actually kind of funny because unintentionally i put on Another project where I use my Moon Glow Fade, this is the um, Long Summer Cardi by Hoi Locatelli, and it is weirdly 70 degrees here in New York City today in August, <laughs> which is wild. So yeah, warm things on today. But anyway, I've already got my bag all packed up, so let's head downstairs. I'm going to catch up on some email from the weekend and make my plan for the week. I watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. I'm back upstairs and it's time for lunch. Kent made us some mac and peas, which is one of our favorite, like <laughs> easy cheat meals to do for um, lunch. And we usually watch a TV show while um, we eat and I am gonna be continuing to knit on my dress. You might be able to hear that Toaster is eating too, but after this, we're gonna get our new desk, well, Kent's new desk and our new office assembled. I Cannot wait. Toaster, totally right to what do you have? Toaster, hey, give me that. Give me that sock. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it, give it to me. Give me. Give it. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. It's finally time to renew our office space. So this is the current situation. We're in the living room right now, and this is Kent's desk. He just finished taking down all of his 
monitors and computer and everything. So we're gonna upgrade his desk today. We'll show you that in just a second. But I actually have the same desk, but it's in the bedroom right now. It's a standing desk, so you can go up and down. And again, we're gonna show you that desk in just a second. So we just spent like 30 minutes measuring and discussing different ways to rearrange things here. So the reason we want to be together, well, I do, I'm not still not so sure Kent does, is we work together. So it'd be nice to collaborate and everything. And I'm just tired of being in the bedroom all day long for every single thing that I do, including work, sleeping, and um, like knit zooms after work. So we're gonna have some flexibility here. So at first we thought maybe we put our desks side by side, but we don't think that's going to fit. Then we thought maybe an L, then we figured we, that one works. So then we thought maybe one of us against the wall, one of us here, and we thought that would be kind of sad because somebody would be staring at a wall all day. So this is what we've decided that we're gonna try. Ken's gonna be right here, and I'm gonna be in this corner facing out, which is nice because I'll still have lots of light when I need to film things, um, which will be really, really good. Um, so Ken's sacrificing a little bit of his view, which you can see is pretty spectacular, <laughs> but we're hoping we're gonna give it a try for like three weeks and see how we like it, knowing we can always move things back. And then this chair is gonna go into our bedroom. So if either one of us needs another space, we can just go and sit in this chair in the bedroom and get away from each other. We're halfway through moving everything. It looks so weird. Look at how much space we would have if we, if we didn't have to work from home. And Kent, has found his new favorite spot. Oh, that's that's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the Flexi Spot Compart all-in-one standing desk. And Kent is lucky because he's getting the updated version that has a glass top. We'll show the model number and of course have it linked down below in case you're interested. So I love my Flexi Spot standing desk. I use it every single day up and down, which we will show you how that works. But the best thing about it is it's super easy to put together. So I've got the top piece here to my right. I've got the frame here to my left. And then behind me, I have the two legs, a cord, because it does need power, and the like tools that you need to assemble it. It's so easy to put together that I put mine together all by myself, although I definitely recommend having a second person to help you out because it is pretty heavy and I did have a hard time with it. All right, it's time to assemble. All right, it's all assembled. We just need to flip it over and plug it in. That took us nine minutes. And it probably would have been faster if we both had an Allen wrench, but you don't need any other tools. Everything is included for you in the kit.
Oh, that's really cool. Yours tells you how tall it is. Oh, that's cool. See, I think you're really gonna like this because you'll be able to stand here. It's so comfortable and you just like slide your chair behind you or like underneath it. And you have a little drawer. I'm, I'm kind of jealous actually. <laughs> Mine is really good. Mine is also awesome. But this is sleep. And look, you have two USBs right here. So you don't have to have the three. Oh, you have a third one. So these are what, USB-C? This is USB-C. Ken is definitely embarrassed by me right now. And these are regular USBs. And that's so cool. This is nice. I will have the FlexiSpot desk linked down below. You can go look at all of their desks. And this one specifically will be linked at the top. Now that Kent's desk is all put together, it's time to move my desk in and get all of our stuff set back up. But you don't need to see that part, so. Okay, actually a change of plans. <laughs> I'm gonna run off to Pilates really quick. It's about a 25 minute walk, so I need to run and we're gonna leave Kent where he is and see how everything looks when we get back. Like I just wanted to give an update because it's been over a month since we have rearranged our desks and been in this situation and I thought you might be wondering what is it like? Do we like working together? And the answer is yes. Of course we've had a couple of moments where it's been a little bit of like getting on each other's nerves and everything but overall we really like being able to work right next to each other and I think the way we arranged it is perfect because we're not actually looking at each other during the day or like in each other's like distractibility area. And that has been really nice. I love just being able to ask him a question on something that I'm doing. And when he's working on editing videos, he can ask me a question. And I really like not being in the bedroom. That has just been a game changer. And the bedroom actually feels like a place where I can go and relax now. I also just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and watching any other Nitty Natty videos, looking at anything that we post online, purchasing anything from me, whether it's a pattern or merchandise or anything like that. Everything that you have been doing has helped support me and now Kent, we're both able to work on Nitty Natty full time. And there's just no way we would have been able to do it without your support. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Okay, now let's get back to the video. Well, Toaster is less than thrilled, but Kent and I are having so much fun playing with our FlexiSpot desks. What do you think, Kent? Pretty cool so far. We're not 100% like finish finished. Like we want to obviously take care of some of the cords and things. And Kent is thinking about getting maybe another like, what's it called? Arm for your stuff. But I have my desk up right now and look at our view. It's the sun is setting right now, which is so beautiful. And now I get to see out to the Hudson River, which I'm pretty excited about. Okay, Kent, show us what you learned. Hold on, I gotta show the buttons. So there's these buttons, one through four, where you can do like 
you can preset like an up and a down setting. Yeah, so like if I push this, it should just like automatically go to where I set it to stand. <laughs> this is so cool. Mine doesn't do this, but I so I'm really jealous. <laughs> It's so cool. It's so like futuristic. It's really cool. <laughs> Another great feature of this desk is the smooth gliding drawer. It's thin but spacious to allow you to keep the things that you need most right at hand. Okay, the camera can barely handle it because it is dark in here, but it's so beautiful outside right now because it's almost, the sun is almost set. So it's like twinkly and amazing and I'm sitting here in the chair that we've moved into the bedroom from the living room because Kent is out in the living room he's chatting and I've also got the tv on because it's bachelorette night had a little issue there didn't get to start it until 10 minutes late because something is happening with like ABC and getting signed in anyway I am all showered and fresh which felt so good because when I woke up this morning I wanted to shower but the hot water wasn't working so it feels really good after going to Pilates and moving that desk all around and everything um, but I cannot wait to wake up tomorrow and get to work now in the new space and I want to show you one more thing before we go in the living room oh gosh I'm not gonna be able to really show I'm wearing my twisted tee shorts yay they are also by um, the same person that designed the seaside dress that I'm about to go knit on. I haven't really knit much today. Um, even this morning, I kind of cut my 30 minutes short because I needed to start working. So I'm really excited to sit down with some dinner and a sparkly water and <laughs> my knitting and just enjoy the bachelorette. But I think I'm gonna turn around and show you this view again because it's so beautiful. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night It's after 10 p.m., which means it's mine and Toaster's bedtime. However, he's kind of taking up the whole bed. So I gotta convince him to move over there. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I had a lot of fun today and I'm really excited to wake up tomorrow to work at our new office space. I think it's gonna be so great to be able to talk with Kent and just get a new view and then not have the office in the bedroom. I think that's gonna make a huge difference. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The Definition Collection is back with six brand new designs. You can shop this collection on my spread shop, which will be linked down below from now through October 21st. But if you want to grab a shirt or sweatshirt by Rhinebeck, make sure to order by September 16th to allow plenty of time for shipping. Happy shopping.